Welcome to another episode of Atomic Heart. Okay, let's carry on. I don't remember where I was last time, but it's been a while since I recorded an episode. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Getting used to all the controls again. didn't change. <laughs> the important thing to start by itself. Anyhow, um, did we get any points? Have we got points? No, we do not. I think we spent it the last time. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNA staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstation. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you now. If you're concerned about me being deceased, you don't have to worry. It is indeed too late for that now. Then what's the matter? You see, I am a tour guide. The last living, oh, I mean, non-robotic. Oh, this is really difficult. I get it. So? I did such a solemn concluding tour before handing over all functions to these Tereshkovas. And I had a group of students. They underwent polymer treatment and were awarded a visit to the facility. Talk about bad timing. Exceptionally bad timing. You see, I am worried about them. They must be somewhere here, in the exhibition halls. They may already be. Listen, I understand that you should be evacuating, but you can obviously take care of yourself. You are a security guard, aren't you? Something like that. Find them, please. They 
They scattered when everything started. I can't leave them like this. I answer for their well-being with my life. I did it again, didn't I? All right, calm down. I'll try to find them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell me when you find everybody, will you? There were two lads and two young women. I will be here. It's not like I can go anywhere now. Very true. I doubt that they are alive. Okay, so we have... These things. went on the tour, didn't you? I did. I never wanted to come here. I wanted to sit on a bench and just die. I know this is stupid, but appreciate the irony. Qualia and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. The real one, not the one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact you're falling off a bridge. But as I was lying here, I suddenly realized there is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It even sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was... worried.
Okay, this is new. What's wrong with her head? Welcome. Come closer. Be not afraid of my power. What the f- Charles, is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am the All-Seeing. I used to be a simple archive worker. But now, I am omnipotent. I see everything. I know everything. And I am everything. Got it. Talk about rotten luck. Charles, this one's completely lost her marbles. What is this skepticism? Sergei Alexeyevich, you should be catching Viktor Petrov instead of doubting my greatness. An interesting deviation. This woman is suffering from polymer overdose. This can happen when a human brain is connected to a large body of data. Obviously, this is what killed her. And now, for a brief time, the Oracle has merged with the entire VDNH. She can access all computers, cameras, and terminals. So she's part of the complex? With unrestricted access to everything? What? Huh. So, you're the Oracle, huh? Can you prove it? I have no need to prove my power to you, mortal. But I guess I could indulge you for amusement's sake. What do you want? Shall I tell you about your missing past? Or the kind spirits that look after you and will silently weep forever? But what would be the point? If you can't even see what's going on right under your nose. <sighs> That's quite a load of... something. Let's make this simple. Open this door for me, would ya? Will I? I will. <laughs> I could open all doors, both in the past and the future. Behold, open up! Uh, 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 uh. Oof, too much information can drive you crazy. Indeed. I'd like to compliment you on your resourcefulness. That was clever. I guess you can think outside the box. Yeah, yeah, I'm real proud of myself. Ooh, okay, look me. What you got? What you got? Thank you. I need it. Could you not have asked her to open all the doors? Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. So those were the two rings that uh, Grandma was after. Comrade! Hey, comrade! Help! Get me out of here! I'm a student from the tour! And my father's like really, really important! Am I already? Congratulations, except it doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Do you even know who he is? He'll build 
build you a country house, mm. uh? send you on a vacation, or maybe you want a car. Come on, man, just get me out of here. Whoever your old man is, his son is dead. What? What do you fucking mean, dead? How am I talking to you, then? Are you an idiot? You are the working class. So work, damn you! Do you even know who I am? No, I don't, and I don't care. We're not buddies. Get that through your thick skull, and the working class can punch back, you spineless piece of... Meat? What? Uh, am I really? Shit. And yes, you are. I'll pass it along to your tour guide. Yep. Very, very dead. Very dead. Legends will never die. This remains true even for agricultural crops. The specimens of purposely bred plants presented here are capable of surviving in any environment, even on the surface of other planets. An impressive exhibit, isn't it? You want to know my opinion about corn? No, thank you. I'd like to hear how you feel about the way man alters nature to make it better serve his needs. Turning rivers around, altering plant and animal genomes, and so forth. What do you think about that? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Everything in nature exists for a reason. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them. But the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called Beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, 
There are only seven of those gamma connectors for Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. Who's not it? No, hey, don't ban. Shit. And yes, you are. I'll pass it along to your tour guide. Granted. Will it be major? Weapons or well, she's all of a sudden behaving herself. Is that what they mean by um, stream friendly? Must be because she's super behave very well. Go to additional dodge dodge. I kinda like this one. Resistance to elemental damage. Increasing its maximum range. Bioject. Oh, that's 
Receive additional damage. Drastic measure. When the clamps reserves are depleted, it produces cryo volume of your bloodstream instead, enabling you to use a cryojet at the cost of miles. That's not good. Neutralizes incoming.
scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Okay. That doesn't look creepy at all. This place used to be really nice, to... until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. That is freaky because you don't know what is real in the face.
Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Fading data. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. It's just a light. So what triggered it? Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the Ballerina Twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. 
someone shoot you? This one is open as well, but it's got a wall in the middle. It's open, I can't see.
There was one that had one inside. anything to do with this one. So I basically just need to get There's a bike that I can jump to. to get up there. So which one had the This is a yellow door, so I have no idea what the significance is. <coughs> if it even means anything. <coughs> I don't I don't know. reach that I 
just do that. Still, I don't know. Where I am. Do I get into that room? reach the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right?
I've never seen bots like these before. How do you like that? Well, what do we have here? Been up already. We're running out of time here. Here's your leg, do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Damn it. That was terrible. Large elongated air there. Okay. Let's try that again.
eventually. It's a shit! Wow, there's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. What am I supposed to do with this? What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process.
Holy fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots could do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective.
Authorization. Major Nichayev. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Yeah, okay. First arm's good.
New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, left, found. Location, Pavlov floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No, this is terrible. It plunged into something warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting! Crap on a cracker, we got more of those freaks. Yeah, glad I had this gun out. Select the desired procedure. that completely missed. Seems like it should work. But it did. Because I'm still looking for two tourists. Wow. A lock. Didn't see that coming. idea for an exhibit well it's not really an exhibit it's more like an experience it's anyway weird. here it is visitors walk into a dark room grab a chirper put on headphones and hear something like uh, read this Tereskova imagine you're in a beautiful green field surrounded by an endless forest that stretches from one horizon to the other you hear a brook burbling nearby birds singing and puppies lots of puppies End recording. So, while a woman's voice is describing this landscape, some Pachellas create a holographic image of it all around them. What's the point, you ask? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't know yet. But it's an awesome idea. I'll just have to explain why I woke up next to that Tereshkova. I am the perfect woman. I am present. I am at peace. A flowing stream, an endless forest, a forever blue sky. In touch with my inner God. Ah, turn it off! Turn it off! Okay. 
This whale's life was transferred into a polymer vessel thanks to the brilliance of Soviet scientists. Polymer mimetic adaptation owes its existence to these amazing animals. Improved vulnerabilities. Lyushas are resistant to gunfire. Use melee weapon against them. Scan your enemies to find their resistance. Plyush. Nowadays, uh, polymers are made to adapt inside the human body without triggering rejection and even replace damaged organs. Research is still far from complete, but one thing is certain this polymer whale is the first step towards the prolongation. Hmm. Thanks to the talent of Soviet scientists. Still, this is a marvelous exhibit. May I ask you something, Major? If you could live on in another form after death, would you? Nope. Nope. I like the form I've got, thanks. I don't feel like swimming around in a pool of goo. But all in all, does the idea of polymer immortality seem acceptable to you? Nah, if we don't get fresh blood every generation, we'll never have any progress. I heard that in a class once. You're not exactly an optimist, are you, Major? Not anymore. Here's an interesting fact. This whale was obtained by Mikhail Stockhausen, who piloted a whaling vessel for an entire week. I really couldn't care less, Charles. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? <laughs> Access granted. I wish I could make that other gun. The... What's the color? Fat boy. Maybe build a collection. Oh, do not can I build it yet? It's an attic material. Mm, what's gonna give me synthetic? Oh, 
ready. That only gives you two though. That gives six. How much do I need? Mm. Sixty more. Authorization, Major Nichaya. Still need to figure out how to use these. Okay. That's electricity, that's electricity, that's shotgun. Let's make some more shotgun. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why couldn't it just be lying in a corner somewhere? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
cannot make that thing now. Shit. Access granted. Please select the desired procedure. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Pliush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Jeez, what's that smell?
is like the toughest boss so far. Honestly, I'm too long to have to freaking kill him. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. Let's die a lot. to enhance the effects of freezing for electricity apply for them to service okay what's that crap in the canisters be careful that is a specimen called plush or ivy it is extremely dangerous yeah i've seen this crap before and of course the ripped off arm is in there too why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere <laughs> I mean, I can't even... <laughs> so, what will it be, Major? Weapon? It says it's, it's impervious to bullets, so it doesn't help I have one of those. I don't have cartridge gun, which sucks.
What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called plush, or ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere?
time. What the more next time. Thank you for watching this far. <laughs> I might have to um, reset my points or something. I don't know yet. But yeah, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And smack that like button if you enjoy this content. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I will uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. Bye.